Before you start trimming that beard, you need the right tools. A beard trimmer with various guard lengths, razor, cremo beard shears, brush, and comb. The easiest way to achieve a consistent, symmetric cut every time and keep those lines clean is to wash your beard first. When it's dry and dirty, it's harder to trim. Products like Cremo, which are designed specifically for coarse beard hair, are key. Once clean, gently pat the beard with a towel to remove excess moisture. Don't rub too hard, that will damage and break the hairs. Using your brush, go against the grain to make the hair stand up and out. This highlights inconsistencies in length and makes it easier to trim. There are a lot of different beard styles out there. To find the style that's right for you, start with this rule of thumb. Your beard and jaw should act in harmony to create a nicely graduated oval shape. Base the style on the shape of your face, and be sure to have your style in mind before you start. In general, the most universally flattering style leaves the hairs a little longer around the chin and shorter on the sides of your face. The longer you want your beard, the shorter your guards on your shears should be. Remember, take little bits off at a time. Be conservative, slow and steady wins the race. Now, start with a 90 degree angle and begin to trim. Always go with the grain. Going against the grain can thin out your facial hair. Going with the grain helps keep your beard looking fuller and hides patchiness. It's up to you whether you want a natural or sculpted looking cheek line. If you plan on sculpting, imagine a line straight from the mustache to the sideburn and shave there. Symmetry is key. So choose facial landmarks that allow you to create an even look on both sides. Define your goatee by looking at the corners of your mouth and using those as your outer limit. Your mustache has denser hair growth and should be kept as short as the hair on your cheeks and temples. Grab some shears to trim the hairs off your upper lip. Short or long, the length is up to you, but I recommend to start lower and adjust upwards to your liking. This is one of the most challenging parts of the trim you have a couple options to consider. Using your Adam's apple as a guide, you essentially want to trim everything below that. You then extend that up in a soft curve towards your ear for that classic U shape. Simply look where the line from your sideburn intersects with the curve connecting your ears. The hair should pass around one to one and a half inches above the Adam's apple. To taper, this requires closer and closer guards on your shears until you reach bare skin. You'll want to move down from your beard length to one half that. Trim up from the bottom of your beard about an inch, pulling away from your neck as you go higher. Keep the guard and trim up about a half an inch from the bottom with the same technique. Finish the final quarter inch with the shears. Shave everything below to avoid the neck beard. To keep your newly trimmed beard looking and feeling its best, add some beard oil to hydrate. If you have a longer beard, use some balm to shape and help maintain flyaways. A natural sandalwood comb is a great tool to distribute the product and untangle knots. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you achieve a great beard trim at home. Be sure to follow this channel for more helpful tips and remember to always beard boldly.